Hey youngins, this is another episode of Grandpa Cooks. This time Grandpa's cooking some pork fried rice. That's right, Grandpa's going Chinese. Alright, so you can make you can make Chinese food with any kind of meat you got, or you can make a vegetarian too. But you know, I just got a little pork, you know, ground pork here. You could do it with pork chop, you know, dice up, cut up a pork chop. You could do shrimp fried rice, chicken fried rice. You know, use whatever meat you want. Or, you know, like I said, you could go vegetarian and just do no meat. So, I uh, got this pork. Starting to cook it with a little bit of oil. And then I got some carrots. I'm going to add some carrots because they take a long time to cook. They're, they're hard, so they take a long time to cook. Okay. Get them going. Let that go for a minute or two. Then I'm going to add some broccoli. I got some onions. That's, that's all the vegetables I got, but, you know, whatever you have, you know, snow peas would be good, that, that's good, you know, bamboo shoots, and, you know, snap peas, and whatever, whatever vegetables you want, you just throw them in this big old wok here, crank it up, crank it up, and fire it up, and get it going. Alright, I'll be back in a minute or so. Alright, back to Grandpa here, it's been a minute, so this carrots are getting going with the sausage, so now I'm going to add... Well, that's my broccoli. Got some nice fresh broccoli I cut up, and got some onions. You know, let's put some, you know, not diced up, just kind of chopped. Kind of stir that around. Let everybody, let everybody get in on the party here. So this is called, you know, we're kind of stir frying everything here. Nice and fresh vegetables. It's gonna be good. Oh, I also got some rice started. I'm going to, you know, serve this over rice, you know, like most Chinese food is. Oh, you don't have to be. I guess you could do, you know, you got like angel hair spaghetti. You, you could do this. Just call it lo mein. <laughs> call it, you know, lo mein instead of uh, over fried rice. But I'm doing rice. All right. So that's going. So now the sauce for this, I got about a third a cup of soy sauce in here. I'm going to add, I'm going to add some, uh, hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce, it's got a good flavor. It's kind of a little thick, so I'm going to do like, you know, one big spoonful of that. Okay. Then I'm going to add some, uh, sesame oil. Sesame oil, that's strong stuff, so, you know, go easy on that. So maybe just like, teaspoon. Teaspoon of that, that's, that's pretty strong stuff. And so the soy sauce is salty, you know, right? So this is going to balance it out. We've got some rice vinegar. That's going to kind of, you know, give a little tanginess. So maybe a tablespoon of that. And then we also got to do, so we got the salty and we got the, the the, the vinegar for the tanginess. I'm going to do about a tablespoon or so of brown sugar for the sweet. So we're going to be nice and balanced here. Now, to make it spicy, I got some goju jang. That's a fancy, fancy thing. Goju jang. Now this stuff's spicy. So I'm just going to put, you know, little, little, oh, like, whoops, that might be too much. <laughs> I just put like one little squirt in there. And put a big old spoonful of garlic. Okay. Now I'm gonna shake some uh, shake some ginger, some ginger in there. That's pretty much that's my sauce. I'm gonna stir it all up. You know, and when these vegetables get cooked, I'm gonna pour pour this sauce in it. Alright, uh, back with Grandpa here. So my vegetables are getting some good color in here. They, you know, everything's starting to brown a little bit. I'm not sure that has enough salt to put on here, so I'm going to, you know, dump, I don't know, a tablespoon or two of chicken broth in my salt to just kind of make it more of a salt, so it's, you know, got all kinds of good stuff in here now. So this salt, I'm going to kind of stir it around and I'm going to pour it in here on top of all my veggies. Ooh, that's hot in there. 
Now we're cooking. Ooh, smells like Chinese restaurant here now. Doggy, that is good. All right, my rice is cooking. This is going. Ooh, that smells so good. Now I'm just gonna kind of put everything on low a little bit and let it kind of simmer for a little bit. And everything's just about done. I'm just gonna throw this rice in here, you know. It'll be good to go. And then we're gonna do the fried rice part. All right, back here with Grandpa. So I turned up the heat on uh, my vegetables and my pork over here. Crank it up because the rice is done. So now I'm gonna dump the rice in, okay? Now here's where the here's where the fried rice portion of this recipe comes in. Okay? So we're gonna crank it up. Crank that baby up to high. I gotta walk here. This thing can handle it. Crank it up. Alright, so I'm gonna mix everything in. And this rice is going to soak up that salt, okay? I'm just going to keep stirring it, keep stirring it. Yeah, look at that. Soaked up pretty much all that salt right away. All right, I'm going to this is cranked up. This is hot here, okay? So now we're just going to kind of get that rice all cooked. I mean, the rice is already cooked, but we're trying to like fry it, get a little bit crunchy, crunchy on the edges. So we're gonna crank it up, let this rice cook for a minute, and don't touch it. I want it to kind of caramelize and get all sticky and crunchy. Good stuff. I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check it right now. Oh yeah, it's starting to get all sticky and crunchy. That's very good. I'll let this go, I don't know, another minute or two. We'll see. Alright, youngins, I think it's about done. It's been cranked up. So listen here, you see this? Yeah, it's kind of, it's a lot thicker. And I can hear that. Oh yeah. That's rice. I got some crispy rice on the bottom here. That rice is good and fried up now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, we're done here. I'm going to plate it up. And there you have it. Grandpa cooked Chinese food, right? Got some pork fried rice. Yep, got everything down in there. Looked pretty good. Now this is like Chinese food restaurant takeout. What do you pay for that? I don't know, 10, 10 bucks, 15 bucks. I made this with like leftovers in my house. I probably didn't even pay, but you know, two bucks. So you can do this. It's easy. All right, Grandpa signing off. I'll see you next time.